I want to start with a story from my friend Brad Anderson. So Brad is president of Qualtrics. He runs what he calls the Pixie team, the product, user experience, and engineering team. And he reported to Satya Nadella at Microsoft for about eight years. He's one of the top 20 leaders at Microsoft for a, a long time. And he came to Qualtrics because he said, you know, he's from Utah. He had the chance to do something with a hometown team that he was really excited about. And he saw, hey, you know, 22 years ago, this company got founded in a basement by a father and his two sons. And everybody, when they think of Qualtrics, they think of survey, aren't that, isn't that the, you mean the survey company, right? And he said, in the last five to seven years, most of our investments have actually been in machine learning and natural language processing and AI, but our product suite really isn't reflecting it. We want to set out on a, on a transformation, a business transformation. We talk at length about some of the radical stuff they're doing. They're not going to have surveys anymore. They're going to have AI-powered conversations. They're finding they can result, they can, if, 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 if there's an NPS drop due to a dissatisfied customer, the ability of AI to resolve their complaint in the conversation reduces the drop in half. And if they then address it, it reduces that drop again in half within the conversation. All of it powered by, they have something like two billion phone calls come through their, their uh, you know, lines every year. Two billion, growing at 57% per year, okay? Another radical thing they're thinking about doing is, you know, customer research, something I've spent you know, 10 plus years teaching people at Stanford, they're now simulating customer research using all sorts of incredible synthetic data because AI is actually really good at impersonating someone. Just ask Jim and I to act like Mr. T in your next conversation and you'll see. <laughs> <clears throat> AI is fantastic at impersonating and you can do that across a million different customer personas and then ask them what they think about this new product offer. What, right? They're doing radical things. I'm happy to talk more about that separately. We can go in on a deal or something, it'd be fun. But the point is, Qualtrics is reinventing themselves. And when we talk to Brad about the change that's underway there, he's not talking about the tech. He's talking about the people. Listen to this. Can you talk for a minute about how you think about an AI culture? And or do maybe start with, do you think of an AI culture? And if so, what are the hallmarks of an AI first or forward or oriented, however you define it, culture? Yeah, great question. You know, so at, at its simplest form, if a company aspires to be an AI leader, I would argue every individual in the company should be using AI on a daily basis. You know, so if I was sitting with a leader and the leader would ask me, Brad, what would you do if you wanted to really make sure your company is going to be one of the leaders in this new platform of AI, my response is the first thing I would measure is, are my people using AI every single day, every function, accounting, legal, engineering, product, UX, is every function using AI every day? Because, you know, you learn as you do. How can we be an AI culture if we aren't all using AI every single day, right? You learn as you do. I heard this theme again and again and again. JJ Shuang, who's the chief architect at Instacart, said literally almost verbatim the same thing. What are you guys doing right now? He said, well, every person in every function, from legal to marketing to comms, is asking themselves, what can we do to stay ahead? Again, I'm, I won't belabor you with all of the data points here, but all of the leaders that I'm talking to are talking about the human behavior change that has to echo across an organization. It's not just about new product. It's not just about new tech. It's about every single person in every single function finding use and value in collaborating with AI every single day. That's the key, right? So you have to shift. The first kind of orientation shift is, this is an IT initiative, right? It's like rolling out, you know, whatever. Two, this is about everyone. 